Today I'm going to show you my homemade egg incubator that I use for hatching chickens and quail. I'm Craig. I live in a self-built tiny house in Washington State. Subscribe to my channel and follow along as we create a permaculture homestead and attempt to live a more sustainable lifestyle. This project all started when I wanted to establish some sustainable meat sources that didn't require so much property. This project was prior to me buying land for a homestead. I had seen some information online about people raising quail as a meat source, as they didn't require as much space as chickens. I purchased 14 newly hatched quail chicks from a local breeder to get my operation started. I wanted to ensure I was able to use my initial stock to create a steady supply of quail before harvesting any of the animals. These quail were incredibly domesticated and no longer hatched their own eggs. This meant I would need an egg incubator. Store-bought incubators start at around $100. I couldn't justify that expense for a proof of concept experiment, so I opted to build one instead. This incubator is a modified cardboard box lined with styrofoam for insulation. It has a double pane viewing window made of acrylic, and it's attached with Elmer's glue, hot glue, and a little bit of foil tape. The bottom of the box contains a small plastic water bowl to help with controlling humidity. The eggs themselves rest on 1 8 inch hardware cloth. The heat for the incubator is generated by a 40 watt incandescent bulb which turns on and off automatically with the use of a thermostat purchased from incubatorwarehouse.com. A small computer fan circulates the warm air in the container. I keep track of the temperature and the moisture with a thermometer and hygrometer combo which I bought for $10 from my local hydroponic shop. I used a tutorial from another YouTuber for the build idea and the schematics. I'll link to that video in the description. Once the quail were 7 weeks old, they began laying eggs. Between 14 quails, they were laying about 5 eggs a day. According to most internet sources, in order to hatch the eggs, the eggs should be kept at 100 degrees Fahrenheit at 50% humidity and rotated twice a day for 17 days. Of the 19 eggs I placed in the incubator, 7 of them hatched. This was just under a 25% hatch rate. Of those 7, 3 of them died, which left me with only 4 baby quail. A 25% hatch rate is not good, but it was exciting that this homemade incubator, made from a cardboard box, was able to bring creatures to life. With some fine tuning, I'm confident I can dramatically improve the hatch rate. I repeated this experiment with chicken eggs to see if we'd have better results. At the time, I lived in the city limits, so I wasn't allowed to have a rooster. This was probably a good thing because I didn't need my neighbors hating me for some early morning rooster noises. The problem with not having a rooster is that I didn't have a way to fertilize the eggs that my chickens were producing. Luckily, I had a friend with a small hobby farm and he was generous enough to give me a dozen eggs for my experiment. On the 21st day of incubation, one of the seven chicken eggs in the incubator began to show signs of life. Later that day, the egg hatched, followed by two more. This gave me a slightly better success rate than I had with the quail. The downside to hatching my own eggs was I could no longer distinguish the breeds of the chickens. They all came from a variety of different hens with a barred rock rooster. The upside was that some of the birds had some beautiful and unique feather patterns. Currently, we don't have any chickens on our property, but we'll get them going again once we're all settled. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to come along with us on the journey, hit that subscribe button.